and welcome. Thanks for joining us. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks and the San Diego Padres. John Shambi and Chris Singleton with you and singing the big bat in the lineup so far this year. Christian Walker leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set. Our starting pitcher in this one, Seth Lugo. And Singy, that may be his name but the strikeout is his game. Well, Boog, I can tell you've been working on that one, but yes, you are right. This guy's strikeout per nine, over 11. I mean, that's just getting it done. There are a lot of strikeouts in that other lineup, and when you look at what he's able to do, man, it's going to be a fun one to watch today. Next offering is in for a strike. Right side. He takes it on his own. One out in the top of the first. Here's Jairo Munoz. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. Oh, and right back to the mound. Sends it to first. Two quick outs in the top of the first here tonight. Christian Walker in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. That one ripped. And out of here. His 21st of the year and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0. guy's got a real hard fastball you can't overswing all you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot if you do he supplies the power and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there this is Corbin Carroll and that's in there for strike one Swings through that. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Fights that one away, and the count remains Got it by him for the K. D-backs get one on the solo jack. It's now a one-nothing ball game. Back here at Petco Park. And getting to start, Ryan Nelson. Well, last time out, thought it was going to be pretty good, but wasn't able to make it out of the second inning. A real shocker, so he's fresh. That one is absolutely belted. And it's gone. Home run number 40 on the year. And we are starting over. It's 1-1. a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay so it's all tied up thanks to the home run and here's the first baseman Jake Cronenworth swing and a high fly ball pretty well struck right field that's back there and forget it 
He blasts one out to right. Home run number 10 of the year. It's 2-1. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Here's Machado. Went deep in the ball game last night. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way. And gone. Home run number 40 of the year. And they tack on to their lead. It's 3-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Back to back to back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. Pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not, but I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense. Now the youngster Juan Soto, the National League leader and runs batted in this year. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him at the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Righty delivers. That one hammered center field. Thomas going back, back some more, hits the fence. And that's a double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that result. That one fouled off. Soto stands at second with no outs. Into center. Thomas gets under it. Makes the catch. One away. Now it's Matt Carpenter, the top hitter in the National League, entering the day. And that one in the air center field. Thomas gets under it. And it's caught for the out. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Ground ball right side. Walker. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. They explode with. Back here at the ballpark. Second inning set to go. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. That one hammer, but pulled foul. Here's a fun note on Kelly. Guys find out they've been drafted all kinds of ways. Kelly was actually presenting a project in his high school marketing class when he found oh, out the Cardinals right. had selected him. How did you find out you were drafted? Yeah, I found out a few days later via telegram. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And quickly won away in the second. This is Kyle Lewis. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and he just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. And strike two. Dives and he can't hang on. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Nick Ahmed here to hit. In there, and it's 0-1. Lewis off of first with two away. That one's in there. That is strike two. 
Good eye right there. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job. Got him looking. Called strike three and a fastball. Bottom of the second. Now it's the second baseman, Ha Sung Kim. The pitch. That's hard hit in the line. Lewis makes the catch, and there's one gone. And now it's Austin Nola, ninth in the NL in hitting, entering play. Up the middle, and that squirts through. So a man aboard now with one away. It's Xander Bogarts now. The solo homer his first time. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Lewis, as this one sized up, makes the catch for the out. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. He's already homered in this one. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. And now it's Manny Machado. Wow. So important to get into the fielding position after you deliver that baseball. That is a scary one. Watch your lips. Chris Machado was a guy who impacts the game with his bat. He's got big time power. But what about the defense? He hasn't only won a gold glove, multiple gold gloves, but he swings and blasts one deep to left center. Gone! Manny Machado leaves the yard. His second home run of the game, and they tack on three. It's 6-1. ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. And now it's Juan Soto. Doubled in his first A.B. On the ground, right side. Marte throws the first in time. They get the out on Soto. Third out, and that ends the frame. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Now the batter now, Cattell Marte. And that's in for a strike. 0-1. And fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That one the other way. Zips it across. They get the out on Marte. Here's Josh Rojas. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. Rojas. Bats left, throws right. 28 years old, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. 0-2 oh now. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Munoz stands in now and watches strike one. And strike two. No ball, two strikes. Right hander kicks deals. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a one, two. Back here in San Diego. And here is Nelson Cruz. Nelson back to work. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. So now here's the DH. Matt Carpenter hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. 
Fastball almost got him there. Nelson goes six feet, three inches. He features a four seam fastball, a curb, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Line drive, base hit right field. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Solid swing from start to end, on time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. And it's fouled away. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Carroll settles under it and makes the catch. And there are two down. So two down now. And here is Ha Sung Kim. He's 0 for 1. Let's go, brothers. Foul ball there. Kim goes 5 feet 9 inches in the 8th spot in today's lineup. And he's a native of South Korea. And that one is lifted in the air. High bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Miguel Castro. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. Austin Nola, the next up for the Padres. Singled and scored his first time. Swing and a miss. Slider oh, right, right there. Here's a fun fact for you. We've never had more active players from South Korea in Major League Baseball than we do right now. Here comes a pitch. Base hit and a run in to score. He's in there. Back-to-back -back base hits. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. And here comes Sander Bogarts. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. On the ground to third. They get the force. That's out number three. And welcome back. And now the first baseman, Christian Walker. He swings and fouls one off. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And that one is gone. He circles the bases. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 8-2. He put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Now the left fielder, Corbin Carroll. Good oh. eye right there. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. And it's one and one. That he really right. sells the changeup with that arm action. On the ground to third. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Now the catcher up to hit, Carson Kelly. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Carson Kelly, second round pick out of high school by the Cardinals in 2012. But remember, he was a pretty big piece to that Paul Goldschmidt trade as he was shipped to Arizona in that deal. Well, any catcher taken by the Cardinals for a long time had no shot at cracking the lineup with Yadier Molina there for so long. Lewis, batting with one down, takes a strike. Base knock right field. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Not in time. He's safe. 
Alec Thomas now. Foul ball. Carroll, the runner at third. Lewis at first. One gone. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. In the dirt, but kept close. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Just missing there. Two balls, two strikes. Got him swinging. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Ahmed started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and Eric Summersgill punches him out. That's a strikeout. But a solo home run will at least get this closer to respectability. It's now 8-2. This is Padres Baseball on the show San Diego. Back here at Petco Park, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Jake Cronenworth. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. And the right-hander deals. Now a screamer into the outfield. That takes care of Cronenworth. One up, one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. And there's a hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. So digging in, Nelson Cruz. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. I'll tell you this, that's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance, send him back to the dugout. And 1-2. One two. Two At the belt and fires. Line to left, and it goes just foul. And that one gets past the catcher. And he throws it away. And the righty deals. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. In to score is the runner from third, and it's 9-2. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 Whoa. miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. On the ground, right side. Gathers and throws to first. That takes care of Grit. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the fifth. Cattell Marte up to the plate. Now one out to right. Cruz calls it in, and there's one away. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. 
Rojas. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Lifted in the air down the left side. Pays hit as he pulls up short. And that's going to get into the corner. Around second now as they still don't have it. And he's there at third with a triple. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Now the 0-1. There's a strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Next pitch has popped up. Cronenworth hauls it in, and there's two away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. You know, Christian Walker, a guy who had a really successful amateur career, his college ball with the South Carolina Gamecocks, they won the College World Series twice with Walker, and he tied the College World Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike. Bottom of the inning stepping in for San Diego ha Sung Kim the pitch ripped on a line and it's a one hopper off the wall should be extra bases throw to second not in time he's there easily well that started and ended pretty quickly no messing around right there put a pretty good jolt into that one great swing nice balance and weight transfer and he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field in the air out towards right center and that gets down into the gap Kim around third in there safely and it's now 10-2 Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Back to the top of the lineup, Xander Bogarts. The next up for the Padres. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. You know, these Padres, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've been absolutely smashing the baseball. They've racked up a bunch of hits, and eight have gone down for extra bases. Long run, tracks it down. Runner tags up for third, and he makes it up to third with one away. And eight extra base hits is a big number, and it's pretty clear the offense is just feeding off each other at this point. Confidence is contagious. Cronenworth in the box with one away as he takes ball one. a base hit in comes the runner from third and they now lead by nine well done drives in the run anytime you rip a line drive the other way you feel really good about what you did at the plate you trusted your hands you let the ball travel and you took the barrel straight to it that's great work right there now on the mound for the Diamondbacks Kyle Nelson I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard oh now this is blasted Way back there, on its way, gone. He's done it again. That's his third home run of the game. And they add on, it's 13-2. Now he's just showing off out there. And who can blame him with a swing like that? Give that man a bat and watch it go a long way. quite the show at the dish here in this one and he's just so locked in with this swing and he's just not missing right now three homer game man it's so special and i tell you what it's a lot of fun to watch him pull it off as well Juan soto now one for three and there's a rocket into the outfield so they get a man aboard with a one-out single now batter, right fielder. So digging in now for San Diego, Nelson Cruz. 
Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. And that one pulled foul. Gets a piece and it stays 0 2. In the air to left down the line. Carroll hustling after it. Hops over the wall and that's an automatic double. Now the DH for the Padres. Matt Carpenter. The automatic double took that decision out of the hands of the third base coach, didn't it? I mean. Was he planning to send him home? We don't know, maybe, but now he's preparing for a whole different situation with a pair of runners in scoring position. Base hit and a run in to score. Thomas fires it to the plate. The run comes in to score for a second. It's 15-2. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Mark Melanson. And he's got a big-time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. And now Trent Grisham. That takes care of Grisham. Next for the Padres, ha -sung Kim. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Carpenter around third. He'll score, and they extend their lead. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And first offering is fouled off. This one high in the air to left center. Thomas gets under it and makes the play, and that's out number three. But they score. Welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder Corbin Carroll. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, Drew Pomeranz. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these guys better be ready to swing the bats. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. And here it comes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Kelly in the box again, takes a strike. 0 and 1. The 0 2. The other way, he makes the catch, and there's two down. Kyle Lewis stands in now for the Diamondbacks. That's to third. Over to first. That ends the frame. So, no runs. Back here in San Diego, and the batter will be the shortstop. Xander Bogarts. Melanson back to work. Swing and a pop-up. Ahmed under it. Brings it in, and there's one down. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. And a base hit up the middle. So a man aboard now with one away. Wastes no time there. Now Challenged him with the fastball Good. right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. One gone runner at first. Manny Machado getting ready to hit. That one missed. Machado goes six feet, three inches, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Hit in the air, right field. 
Machado out of the play. That's out number two. Here's Juan Soto. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Lifted in the air right center field. Lewis under it. Makes the play and it's out number three. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the center fielder Alec. Thomas new pitcher on now Steven Wilson he's having a ton of success facing left handed hitters this season so this seems like a smart move to turn to him with a lefty at the plate hard hit left side tosses to first and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh so up next Nick Ahmed swing and a ball lifted left field Soto gets under it squeezes it two down Here's Cattell Marte. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Nice grab on the run. And that's the. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Here comes the 0 1. Late that time, and it's strike two. Bounce to third. Munoz to first, and a quick out number one. Matt Carpenter, the next up for the Padres. Up the middle, Ahmed throws to first, two up, two down. So two down now, and here is Trent Grisham. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That's going back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Back here at Petco Park. And now the DH. Josh Rojas. So they bring on the veteran, Luis Garcia. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down-and-away pitch. Left-hand hitter waits. Going to count one and two. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Struck him out swinging. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Munoz now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. One down, base is empty. Line drive, base hit. And now it's Christian Walker. And there's the strike. And a swing and a miss there. That was the pitch to hit. Four-seam fastball instead of that sinker ball that makes you hit it on the ground. He missed a good one. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. The high heat too much on that one. Dominating strikeout there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. If he's hitting his spots, filling up the strike zone, sometimes he bats over before it really begins. Got him looking for the K. Fastball to letters frozen. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Austin Adams. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball on the ball. Not an easy guy to take deep. Activity in the bullpen. Andrew Chafin up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. Lace to right center, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Now it's going to be Austin Nola. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one down.
So the San Diego batting order turns over. And here is Xander Bogarts. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Carroll makes the grab. And there's two down. Stepping in for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. And that one hammered back there. Caught just shy of the wall. Well, Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now the catcher comes up to him. Carson Kelly out of the bullpen for the Padres, Nick Martinez. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Lewis in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next pitch has popped up. He's got it, and there's one away. Man at first. Next to hit, Alec Thomas. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Martinez, 6 1 righty. He features a four seam fastball, a changeup, a cutter, a curve, a tag, and he's out at second. Kind of a tough read for the base runner right there. You're usually trying to be aggressive on balls in the dirt, trying to get in the scoring position, but if it doesn't get away very far or you can't tell how far it is, most catchers are going to get to it and throw you out at the base. And right there, excellent job by the catcher. He helps out his pitcher big time. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres add another to their winning streak. Well, with this win, these guys become the best team, at least by record standpoint, in the history of Major League Baseball. I'd say it's the most dominant team that I've ever seen. Well, this one ends in a blowout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long.